All right, so now let's talk about another skin condition, or uh, really a self-limited skin rash known as, I'm about to but butcher the name, Petriasis rosea. Now, Petriasis rosea is basically a self-limited skin rash that has an unknown etiology. You don't know what it is, but it is associated with a viral infection. So Petriasis rosea is, as we said, it is a self-limited rash in which it has a good prognosis because, as we said, it's a self-limited case in which it can resolve itself after 2 to 10 weeks. And the etiology for Petriasis rosea, this rash, is unknown. The etiology is unknown, but it is assumed that a viral infection is associated with it, which is herpes, basically herpes simplex viral infection, or any viral infection, uh, in which a patient, let's say typically this occurs in children or young adults, let's say young adult, a young adult may have signs and symptoms of upper respiratory tract infection, such as sore throat and fever. Then eventually, after a couple of weeks, he may present with a skin rash. Now remember, the patient is asymptomatic with this one, except for itching. He may notice there's some spots that are itching. He realizes, oh, I have a rash here that's very itchy. So that might be a case of pteriasis or pteriasis rosea. So rosea's case is unknown, but it's possibly related to a viral infection, and that's why typically patients, before these rashes appear, patients may have symptoms of upper respiratory tract infection from a virus, and then eventually they might, after a couple of weeks, they might suffer from very itchy rashes. Now let's talk about exactly what is exactly the primary skin lesion here, or what is the rash that is occurring here. Now, the clinical features, like I said, the symptom, the only symptom a patient may have is itching. Besides that, he has nothing else. So the patient may complain of itching. So you look at, during clinical examination, you look at his trunks, for example, because this, this typically occurs in the trunks. You look at his arms, where we say, let's look at his trunks, and you'll see this patient has the presence of multiple primary skin lesions. So let's talk about that. So for example, when you look at your examination, you may find initially, initially, you might find the presence of a solitary, salmon colored, round in shape, herald patch that's very, very itchy. It means you might find on the patient's trunk or anywhere in his body, you might find the presence of a patch, all right, that's round in shape. It is a patch, it's flat, Yanni. You have a flat lesion, which is a patch, more than one santi. It is solitary in nature, it is rounded in color, they call it herald patch or mother patch, and it has a salmon color in the center. Salmon color meaning it is erysimitous in nature, or erysimitous in color, red in color. So it has a salmon colored in the center, and it is surrounded by scales at the periphery. So, this is what a salmon patch, it is characterized by a primary eruption, an initial eruption of salmon patch, which is a solitary, large, solitary, large, oval patch that's characterized by a salmon color at the center and surrounded by a bunch of scales, especially scales that are more obvious than compared to other lesions. And this all together makes it very itchy and that is known as a herald patch, a characteristic feature of Pteriasis rosea, and you can find this especially in the trunk initially. Now here's the thing, over time, over time, this salmon color patch, it can follow these tension of the skin, like especially from your back. Doesn't your skin have these tension lines right here? When you look at your back, for example, it can follow it and it can give the appearance of a Christmas tree or the branches of a Christmas tree, especially when eventually over time that leads to a secondary eruption and you have other skin lesions besides the patch. So accompanying the patch could be a case of plaques. You might have multiple plaques, all right? You might have a case of multiple papules. All right, they're surrounding the salmon patch and they're following this tension line, the skin tension line, and they give the appearance of a branched Christmas tree, especially from the trunk, okay? So you might see this as a feature of pteriasis rosea. So initially, patient may complain of itchiness from the herald patch, which we said is a solitary salmon colored at the center surrounded by a scale patch, all right, that is itchy and it is rounded in shape. And eventually, with, let's say after two to three weeks, leads to appearance of other primary skin lesions, a secondary eruption in which you might have basically scaly papules and plaques surrounding this patch 
And these scaly papules and plaques surrounding this patch, especially in the trunk, can give the appearance of a Christmas tree or a branched Christmas tree. So that's a feature of Pityriasis rosea. And of course, after two to 10 weeks, once the lesion resolves itself, it can heal in the form of hyperpigmented patches or hyperpigmented pac or macules. So it's like the same as uh, when we say lichen planus. When we look at the other skin condition, lichen planus, it also heals by hyperpigmentation. And of course, that hyperpigmented patches or really hyperpigmentation in general, it eventually resolves itself uh, after a couple of weeks as well. So overall, these are all the signs that you might see in Pityriasis rosea right here, here in the trunk, but fortunately, it is self-limited. It can resolve itself over time, and there's not really a lot of complications, which is why the treatment is really reassurance. Just reassure the patient that it's nothing serious. If it's still complaining of itching, you might give the patient antihistamine, okay? Of course, the diagnosis here is a clinical diagnosis. If you want to exclude other diseases, such as syphilis, secondary syphilis, you can do basically a biopsy, or let's say in the case of um, let's say in the case of fungal infection, you can take a biopsy. You can do scrapping if you want. If you want to basically exclude a, f a fungal infection, but uh, regardless, in general, it's not really not that serious. So it's really clinical diagnosis is enough. If you want to exclude syphilis, you can. You can do VDRL. If you want to exclude fungal infection, you take a biopsy if you want. But even still, regardless, if you, can, if you diagnose this case as a case of pityriasis rosea, especially in a young adult or a young child with a history of a viral infection, you can tell this patient, reassurance, nothing serious, but just remember the clinical features, especially when you look at the pictures. You have a case of a herald patch or a mother patch, especially when joined with other skin lesions, such as a papule or a plaque, in which they resemble a Christmas tree appearance. And remember, the only symptom the patient may complain of is itchiness. Besides that, the patient is asymptomatic. That's pretty much it. Thank you.